That's such a weird business because they don't actually like produce anything. They just kind of move money around. Yeah. What's up, and everybody? Heard... Oh, hello. What's up? Hey, Misha. Hey, Riddler. Your guy has an exciting announcement for his girlfriend. Oh my god. Uh, he bought a limo. Okay. Uh-oh. -uh. Anime, you've always got the most interesting props. <laughs> Let's do it. Who's, what's this guy's name? He's He buys a limo. I saw that today on Craigslist, a limo for $5,000. I was like, hmm. 5000 Yeah. From 1992 <laughs> or something? Like, what the? No, it was like a late 90s Cadillac. Okay. Frank Du Boy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, guy. Du Boy. What up, Du Boy? Frank Du Boy. Does the limo come with the driver? No. No, I think Well, I guess drive. you become the driver once you own a limo. You are a guy named Frank Dubois who has an exciting announcement Dubois. for your girlfriend. Ooh, ooh. Yes, the computer said it right. Dubois. Dubois. Hello! I think it's Google self driving limo. <laughs> it could be, yeah. That'd be real pricey. Have you seen, they have like concept art for like what self-driving cars will look like in the future. And it's just it's like just bubbles. Yeah, it's just like little bubbles where it's like, you're not even looking at the road. So it's just like a little like traveling room. It's like, uh, that's scary. I want to at least see my robotic death coming if it happens. Yeah, and there's like, there's never any like seat belts or anything, and it's usually just like a lounge chair and a cube. Yeah. You know, but... That shit wouldn't fly. I don't know, man. I mean, maybe, maybe in like 60, 70 years, but not... I don't think in my lifetime. It's just concept art, but yeah, I don't think so either. Uh... Robots won't crash, I'm sure. Well, I trust a robot more than I trust all these people, so. Yeah, there probably will be, like, robot deaths, but... And that's what people are really... But it's like, I... I trust a robot with all my money, and how often does it fuck up with my money? Not that often. But I had, like, a credit union account, and, uh -huh. like, they inserted $5,000 of someone else's money, so... I trust a robot. Oh, uh, yeah. But... How often does your like you like, drive phone to your girlfriend's house or your computer after crash? greeting her? You mm, tell her the big of. announcement you bought a limo. She asks how you were able to afford the limo. You say, I used your credit card, I hacked into your bank account. I figured you wouldn't mind. She starts choking you. You get out of the car and start beating her up while no. she is still choking you. No, well, when you stop, you see that she was right. Your girlfriend huh. is indeed very beautiful. The next oh. day, you go back home where you find your girlfriend lying in bed with a broken nose, a black eye, a swollen lip, and several bruises all over her body. Sweet Jesus. She started it! Well, it is mutual. It's, you know, it's coming both ways. She's choking <laughs> us, we're punching yeah. her. I'm driving! <laughs> And then we admit we were wrong, and she's very beautiful. And then, <laughs> then we go back, and she's got a bloody nose. Does she still look beautiful? That After guess, a broken yeah. nose and all those bruises? I don't yeah. Know. It's hard to say. Black eye, swollen lip. I always <laughs> think those, those like celebrity women who get Botox in their lips, they always just look like they got in a fight. Yeah, it's like post-fight. Yeah. It's like they just boxed the... and lost. Yeah, they just got a puffy lip. It hey, doesn't look, look good. I mean, if it makes you more confident, but yeah, you just look more and more like a clown when... At least to <laughs> me, anyway. I don't know. I guess there's some yeah. people that are into that, I guess, but... Or they really like bee stings. Yeah, bee sting too, yeah. 
In fact, I've heard like some people do that, right? So they just get like, they put bee venom on there or whatever. And oh. it like swells your lips up a little bit. I, I saw I saw one woman before she had a chin implant, which is not uncommon, but hers was too big. It looked like Jay Leno. It was like it was like comical, but it was sad at the same time. So that's probably what she looks like right now, laying in bed. Either way, this is a pretty intense relationship. Is this gonna be whoopee time? <laughs> well, it could be, I guess. Tell you pay for the hospital treatment with the rest of her money. <laughs> she yeah. says, "Good fight. I'm gonna start working out every day and wop yo ass." Wop yo ass. You get her a bowl of chicken noodle soup. Afterwards, you decide to take your girlfriend on a date. You oh. ask her if it was worth it. She tells you that it was worth it because now you have someone to talk to about anything. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a term of endearment. Having a big old fight. Oh, here we go. Right in the middle. That seemed room. appropriate. Yeah. Just a little, little kiss, kiss. You lean in and kiss her. Greater than you continue. What do you think? She smiles at you, then looks away. Oh, okay, you say. Well, what else did you want to know? She continues looking away from you. Okay, so we're going to be <laughs> married soon, but not just yet. We need to do some things first. Okay. Talk to her about your extensive criminal background where you hid the bodies. We'll be at the limo. Yeah. Oh. It's got a big back seat. Yeah. We need to do some things first. Uh. She can. She says that we need to do some things first. Hmm. What could she mean? I don't really get the appeal of limos. Why? You don't like to be fancy, Jim? I I don't know. I just don't think it's that fancy. It's just a long car. Yeah, I don't really get it either. <laughs> or party bus it's like do you really need to drink on the way do you, you think? say it's like, yes i agree yeah. joint bank accounts also i need to invest in more limos to get my limo service off the ground oh yeah she nods and lastly i'm okay, getting a job down. as a stripper i've been saving money since we got together so when mm -hmm. the time comes i'll make sure to save enough to pay you back what? she looks down I can't believe this. Hey, I mean, bad. I don't even like men anymore. It's just too much fun being around you. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, that'll be our limo stick is we just have the longest limos in town. Hey, uh, everybody. Uh, Frank's limos has the longest limos in town. We can carry and my girlfriend, she'll give you a lap dance in the back. How about that? Eh? <laughs> She's like, what, what, what? Stripper in the limousine? <laughs> Hell yeah! Only in France, yeah. extra long limousines. Call now! But, that, but that's why, like, the car limousine would be hard for a stripper. Like, a party bus would be okay, but a car limousine, they gotta, like, bend over and dance the whole time. Oh, yeah, that'd be very uncomfortable. You're, you're constantly, like, excuse me, sorry, gotta get over to the... <laughs> Just have a permanent hunchback. Uh-huh. Oh, my back. Oh. <laughs> but you'd be always showing your jugs off, so. Oh, yeah. Well, they'd be, like, swinging around. <laughs> you gotta get, like, a back brace or something. Yeah. If she doesn't well, like me anymore, does that mean she doesn't like you anymore? I think... 
I think the love is well, gone. She, she says she doesn't love men, but we're just too much fun to be around. So it sounds like she likes us in a non-sexual way, and it's like, uh, we're just so much fun. Uh, okay. Wait, wait. She looks down, I can't believe this. I mean, I don't even like men anymore. Too much fun. It's just too much fun being around you? Like, she's like, I can't love men because I love you too much? I don't. It's a very confusing statement. Is she, she or you the stripper? That's also what I was trying to figure out, Riddler. I oh, we're like, a stripper? I, I, maybe, it doesn't maybe. say who says that. Where does it say that? I need to reevaluate this. <laughs> I'll make she sure. She nods. Save enough to pay you back. Maybe we're trying to pay so her back. So maybe we are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do it, yeah. <laughs> At every, like, stoplight, we, like, put the car in park and go in the back to strip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, a, it takes you a lot longer, and you get, there's a lot of noise because people are constantly honking at you to go. But, uh... It's cheap as hell, stripper couple. Or a stripper. <laughs> stripper stripper limo driver. That's a very You show her your new stripper costume and ask for her feedback. Is this sexy, you ask? She giggles. Yeah, it is. But I gotta admit, I feel weird about this. Like I should be showing some skin or something. You laugh. Don't worry about that. I'm sure we can work something out. The next morning, you wake up early to prepare for the wedding ceremony. Oh. Wow, very quickly. That was quick. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. We're gonna wear that G-string to the wedding ceremony. I got it in white just just for that occasion. So we're like a super sexy dude. I mean, we're a male stripper, and yet she's not even attracted to us. Let's see if it comes out with anything. You look at the costume and notice it has some interesting features. Hmm. For one thing, there is a pair of wings attached to the front. Oh! You <laughs> also front. notice that the skirt is made of leather, which you assume would be pretty hot in the summertime. Finally, oh, yeah. the belt buckle is adorned with a pentagram. The Adore. bride walks through the door wearing the same outfit. What? She gives you a smile before walking towards the altar. <gasps> we have matching stripper costumes. Oh, that's leather amazing! Skirt. With wings in the front. <laughs> In the front, That's like around just... our junk. <laughs> oh, okay. I think she's a <laughs> lesbian in the closet. Possible. And we're both wearing leather skirts with pentagram belt buckles. Wow. I think it's like clearly a mistake, but we both made the mistake of putting the wings in the front. So they're like shooting outwards. It's like, uh... And if you're a stripper, you're kind of uh, covering up every all the goods. Cringe wedding. It could be the funnest wedding you've uh, ever been to, though. The funny thing is, we didn't plan the same to wear the same thing. <laughs> no, it's just completely by accident. She got this at uh... <laughs> This was in the bargain bin at the wedding shop. Oh, yeah, here we go. All the bridesmaids, all the groomsmen, and everybody who comes has to wear the same thing. Could be a green guard marriage, yeah. I don't think she really loves us, because we've, we're kind of shitty to him. Or maybe she does love us, because she did really, other than beat the crap out of us for spending her money. She's stuck you with You begin it. to dance for tips for the crowd as your bride walks down the aisle. 
The groom stands behind his wife as he holds hands with her. Aww. They walk down the aisle, holding hands. As they reach the bottom of the stairs, they turn around and give each other a big hug. A huge cheer goes up from the people watching. As everyone celebrates, hug. the priest begins to read the marriage contract. Contract? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. They just read the marriage contract. Okay. So this is a Las Vegas wedding. Yeah. Oh, and we do it at the bottom of a big staircase. How romantic. It sounds like a fun reception, though. Uh, Biz, man, we got a mind meld there. Oh, you're refusing the contract. Your bride looks at you in horror when she hears oh. the marriage contract gives you everything she has and she gets nothing. No, she screams. What? Uh. You reply. No, I said no, I don't want anything. But, then why are you doing this? Why are you dancing for me? Because it feels good. It doesn't feel good. This isn't fair. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a bride saying no, no, no at the altar, but then she starts sexually dancing and grinding on the... No, no, I just want to live in this moment forever. I don't want to marry you, but I do want to be very intimate. I don't like men! She's gonna bail the wedding in a very interesting way. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was wearing wings the right way around. This would not happen. Maybe we should ask the crowd if there's a lawyer. Who's is there a lawyer in the crowd? We need to get an annulment or whatever. Uh huh. We could do that. No, I don't want anything. Okay, okay, I think I don't. Okay. She makes out with the bridesmaid. Probably. I just think it was too quick. You know, the day before we had a big fist fight. You now don't get married. Yeah. You apologize to everyone. You make your bride your employee and start an extra long stripper limo service in Las Vegas. Oh, good. You buy a limo called the Lone Wolf, which is oh, equipped well, with ooh. a computer system that allows you to control its functions remotely. Oh. It's like Knight Rider. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. This is a stripper limo. I, I think that's a good place to end it for this one. Oh, I was just going to transition into the, the business. Okay, yeah, go for it. Unfortunately, he has the voice of Gilbert Godfrey. Turn right! <laughs> you pick up your first Damn customer and tell your girlfriend, <laughs> get to work. You spend the rest of your life trying to repay your debt to your bride. Oh. You live a lonely life, oh. never having anyone ever again. Damn. Okay, that Wait, seems what? like the end. Okay, fine. A, a sad end. Wow, that sounds like getting married was the wrong thing to do. Yeah, no game. whoopies too, only sexy dancing. Wow. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I'm gonna pull a superhero prompt that the AI generated during the marathon. Okay. Alright. Uh, Frank Du Bois. Yeah. Okay, this guy has a super. Uh, he has superpowers. He can control ants, snakes, and even ghosts. And he uses them to fight crime. What's his name? Mm. Um. Seymour Smellman. Okay. I think of him as like one of those nerdy superheroes. Like Ant Man. Or the lizard and Spider Man. Or SS for sure. Ooh. So what is he? You said he controls ants and ghosts? Ants, snakes, and even ghosts. Ghosts or goats? Ghosts. Like, <laughs> ooh! <laughs> what about like ghost snakes? Yeah, I guess that. Okay. You are Seymour Smellman who has superpowers. You can control ants, snakes, Nothing and even between. ghosts. You want to use these powers to fight crime, but you need money to buy better equipment to take down bigger criminals. Hmm. It just seems like <laughs> there's a big gap there between ants and snakes and ghosts. Yeah, <laughs> ants, snakes, and even ghosts. Goat ghosts. <laughs> I mean, if you could control ghosts, why even bother with the ants, really? Uh, I imagine it has its uses. <laughs> okay, okay. That's probably one and specific use for it. And that's right, his like uh, real name is Seymour Smellman, but that's not a superhero name. What's a superhero name? I don't know yet. I think this is like the origin story, right? Yeah. You, uh, what's a, what's a crime we could stop and use our powers on? Cause we're like, we're like just learning we can use them. We're like playing in our backyard and goat rider with Nick Cage. <laughs> uh, I imagine we're like, okay, wow, they're the ants, the okay. snakes, and even okay. the ghosts are responding to my powers. Okay, I get it. Can I do it? Yeah, go for it. There's always like a bank robber we could stop, um, save somebody uh, who's getting robbed, uh, save a store getting robbed. Uh, what are all the stereotypical superhero first, first, uh, vigilante missions? <laughs> Rescue an old lady trapped in a tree? That's, yeah. I think, uh, the ghost might be good for that. <laughs> Ghosts and snakes. You are oh, at the zoo on a school field trip when one go. of your classmates falls into the snake pit. Perfect. She is surrounded by snakes, but then you realize you can control the snakes with your superpowers. You see an opportunity and grab her hand. She screams in pain, but manages to pull herself free. As she runs off, you continue to concentrate on the snakes around her. Uh-huh. Okay, so it wasn't like a success yet.
<laughs> Become a professional <laughs> stick charmer, yeah. You another fellow student gets covered in fire ants. You can control the ants to rescue him, but he is the school bully, so you just let things take its course. <laughs> the bully is rushed to the hospital. Uh -huh. As you walk home, you hear a scream coming from the back seat. It sounds like someone is being held hostage. You open the door, only to find yourself face to face with a giant spider monster. Whoa! It is about the size of a small building. Whoa! Its eyes glow red, and its legs have no joints. Control the bully's ghost and send it- yeah, okay, that's it, that's it. Whoa. Uh, the I computer- The computer already found our weakness. It's not an ant or a snake, it's a spider. Yeah. This is you a control job the, the ghost. ghost of the bully to fight the spider. Mm -hmm. You manage to kill it, but it still managed to bite you. No! Wow. Owie, owie, owie. Is he a superhero if he's not saving the bully? Well, it's just like uh, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movie. He uh, let that one guy go uh, who was robbing somebody. Uh, he was robbing that rest wrestling guy that cheated him out of money, and then that guy goes and kills his, uh, his, uh, uncle, grandpa, Joe, or whatever his name is, I forget. Yeah, uncle you whatever. You feel the power of the spider course through your veins. Uncle dead man. Your eyes begin to glow red as your superpowers increase exponentially. This is not good. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, we, have, thought... we have Spider-Man powers now. I wanted it to be good, though. I meant it to be good. This is not good. I guess. It always seems like it's not good at first. You know, and then you realize how much good you can do in the world. And then you just start punching people. Now you can Look control at... spiders? Yeah. He's got a lot of powers, he just doesn't know how to use them yet. This is the origin story. We don't even know his superhero name. Yeah, not yet. We don't. We have. We gotta think of it, yeah. Ant Snake. I want the computer Ant to snake come ghost up. Ghost Man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ant Snake Ghost Ask. Ask G. Mr. Ask At G Man. Asgum. Web sling using yeah. your penis. <laughs> oh my god. So... <laughs> Talk about shooting ropes. Hey, the computer thinks this is not good. He needs a villain to match him. Slug zombie toad man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. Maybe the... Yeah, it'd, it'd be such an you even You decide fight. to sleep it off. You go into school the next day still feeling terrible. During algebra class, you start to vomit spiders. Oh, damn. Your teacher notices this and tells everyone else to leave the room until she can get rid of the problem. Oh. She does so by having all the other students put their hands over their mouths and nose. <laughs> the spider problem was finally solved. Oh, great. There we go. We solved it. Yeah, I agree. We definitely need a villain.
Yeah, what's something that can stop all three of them at once? Uh, poison, 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 man. <laughs> poison, poison, ghost trap, man. Don't tell us how it was solved then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the teacher spent all day, but then all the spiders were taken care of. In a way that would definitely save all the children. <laughs> yeah, watch out for the spiders, kids. Put your hands over your mouth. It's, so I've got... It's really boring spider uh, control problems. You know, you wouldn't want to hear anything about it. As long as they don't get in your mouth or nose, they're not a problem. Just <laughs> yeah. ignore them. They can bite your skin as much as they want. Uh -huh. As long as they don't get inside you. So here, I, I'm going to do something. I'm going to try to beat the computer oh, okay. to what I think it's going to do. Okay. 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 I think it's going to want to go you home You go to the sleep. school nurse. She says you have a fever and need to go home and sleep. Okay. She also mentions that you might be allergic to something. Uh-oh. Yes. I'm allergic to all the spiders coursing through my veins right now. Yeah. We had a spider bite us yesterday. It was like the size of a small building. Do you think we're allergic to that? <laughs> we get the nurse. <laughs> your, your weakness is a bunch of spiders inside your body. <laughs> Those are my babies. I'm gonna... We're like that. We're like that arowana fish that carries all its babies in its mouth. Tech business suggestion. You on your way home, your arch nemesis slug zombie toad man jumps out from behind a tree. He grabs you and starts eating you alive. No! Oh! Is this an origin Not story? Good. I guess. We kind of didn't, uh. We didn't say his origin though. We didn't say how we got the power of ants, snakes, and ghosts. Yeah, sometimes it's just natural. You know? <laughs> yeah, sometimes you're bored with it. It's just the natural yeah. ability. Punch a hole through his sometimes body. Mm -hmm. This is the origin story. You don't get your superpowers in the origin story. It's like... Uh, yeah, we've jumped to the Cyclops, second movie. You know? Yeah. Or the second half of the first movie. He is part zombie, so how do you get the, uh, the eating part, yeah. So yeah, are we a zombie now? The Improbables. <laughs> yeah. If we ever have to team up. A slug toad zombie man. Well, slug and toad is pretty, like... They're both pretty slimy. I guess zombies could be pretty slimy. You sting him with your stinger and command the nearby ants and ghosts to attack him. Oh, there you go. He tries to escape, but his body is too weak. You finish him yeah. off by crushing his skull with your foot. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Jesus Christ! That? Okay. That's not very, like, hero league. <laughs> also, Jim, <laughs> which one of the animals has a stinger? <laughs> have a stinger <laughs> okay we just have a stinger <laughs> yeah yeah we got it uh, <laughs> we got it now. of all we the powers it. we have i didn't think stinger was one of them but i guess <laughs> I guess well, that, that's, that's wrong that, that spider bit us okay so i figured we <laughs> oh got yeah the famous spider stingers <laughs> <laughs> i think he's a vigilante oh boy oh you mean the guy we just killed or us that was like the most graphic way to kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stomp them on your foot. You crush his skull with your foot. 
Just like wow. that. Slug toad zombie man, he is. That's all he can. <laughs> also, I like that we set him up only one prompt earlier, and he's already dead. I thought yeah. we were gonna have a, like a a big feud with this guy. We didn't even like give him a chance to repent or anything. We just <laughs> like the first chance we get, we just step on his head and kill. I mean, he did try to eat us alive though, so it's but also kind of an extreme response back. A little bit, yeah. I mean, we're young. That's what a young person with superpowers would do. They'd be killing <laughs> people all the time because they don't know the repercussions of their decisions. They'd just be like, you don't agree with me? Die, die, die! It's like that, yeah, their uh... brain is not formed yet. <laughs> it's like that I Twilight also... Zone episode with the kid where he's turning people into toys or whatever. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I like to think even the ghosts are like, that was a little harsh, yeah. you know? They're like, Mm. Oh, but guess who just became a ghost? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> guess who just became a ghost? Wow, yeah, that's true. Now we control him. What was his plan after eating you alive? Yeah. Just go, go probably, about his day? I think probably to turn us into a zombie. And then he would control us. That's true. Once your arch enemy is dead, it's like, what's the point? So we do need a new one. Let's just ask him. We get, we've you got summon that. the ghost of Slug Zombie Toad Man. You ask his ghost, what was your plan after attempting to eat me? He replies, I wanted to eat you for a while. Oh. Oh, he's okay. like, he didn't plan on finishing. <laughs> yeah, he was just like, man, I just been wanting to eat you for a while. I didn't have a plan. I succumbed to my desires. Koala B. Gargoyle oh. Man is the new villain. Okay. I, th I, I thought he meant... He was gonna like eat us uh, for like an extended period of time, you know, like over the course of days or weeks, he would just keep eating us. Yeah. You know, like I wouldn't finish for a long time. Um, That's an interesting thing too. I like that there's three. I'd like to think that, you know, normally when there's like a meteor or like a nuclear power plant, if there's just one of them, you get one superpower. I like to think that we're this elementary school or this, yeah. I think we're in high school. This high school is surrounded by <laughs> three nuclear power plants that are all <laughs> each differently leaking uh, sewage into the school's drinking water supply. So everyone in the school just has three, three weird animal related powers. Oh, okay. Yeah. A villain with the inability to move craves, crave hugs and stings you, yeah. You're in preschool. Yeah, this is like a Rugrats superhero story. Are they gifted? Yeah. I think that might be our next move. We gotta ask the school news reporter about all these kids with triple animal powers. Uh-oh, the principal has bear, bear, bear powers. He's just got, he's a hydra bear. <laughs> this is the universe where everyone gets the weirdest superpowers. <laughs> you go back to school and ask yeah. a school news reporter what the deal with all the kids at this school having exactly three oh, superpowers yes. yeah. each. The reporter replies, well, I think it is because they all ate a guy named Slug Zombie Toad Man. What? They all, everybody <laughs> ate? Everyone was just buffet style picking pieces off a of slug toad zombie man? Oh. Uh, that's okay. interesting. Why would a school get built near three nuclear power plants? Just poor zoning. 
Really? <laughs> uh, it's like South Dakota really needs to elect better people. <laughs> Ah, we're- oh, we're going for that rare six power. Yeah, or we're- ours are just double strong. You ask, is there any left? I'd like to eat some as well. Greater than you try to catch them all before they do. You go back to school and ask the school news reporter what the deal with all the kids at this school having exactly three superpowers each? Yeah, because that question the was too big. The reporter replies, well, I think it is because they all ate a guy named Slug Zombie Toad Man. You ask, is there any left? All right, we might need to rewrote that. Too vague. Yeah, too vague. Like My Hero Academia? I've, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. Ask the AI what your new superpowers are. Yeah. Okay. Or, uh... <laughs> okay, I got an idea. Can I try something? Go for it, yeah. Go for it, go for it. I do think we need to see Koala be Gargoyle, man. Jim's always got interesting ideas. Yes, he does. Well, our villain is dead, but we have a mystery to solve, so. Let's see if I can understand. You grab the piece of Slug Zombie Toad Man out of his hand and eat it right uh, away. Eating it now gives you three new superpowers. No! <laughs> okay, that okay, didn't okay. work either. I'll remember that. I think sometimes the computer is like, okay, you called me out. I was I was full of shit. I didn't know what I was talking about. I'm sorry. Okay, uh We're not moving past this until the AI gives us three new superpowers. You need it and gain three yeah. new superpowers. Super strength, super speed, and super durability. Oh durability. Wow. It's like like Colossus, right? Yeah. Or the Juggernaut. Good powers, yeah. You realize those uh, abilities only apply to the ants. <laughs> yeah. After the first three, that's really normal? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Why did we get the shit one on the first bite? And then you test out your new superpowers. Yeah. Greater than you super strength, you lift up a car, which is twice wow. your size. Twice. You jump high <laughs> enough to catch a falling basketball. You throw a baseball hard enough to break a window. You run Ooh, faster what? than any normal human could. You become indestructible. You become invincible. You are a true hero. Okay, but well, but seriously, those first those a couple things in there were not extraordinary at all. <laughs> yeah. Like, you throw a baseball hard yeah. enough to break a window? Like, <laughs> yeah. I could do that. I mean, for someone of our age group, though, and I mean, yeah. You you jump high enough to catch a falling basketball? <laughs> yeah, not that's very just high playing at all. basketball. <laughs> yeah, that's just called <laughs> getting a rebound. No, we have the extraordinary ability to get 100% of the rebounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a car that's twice her size is not that big. <laughs> and the AI has very low standards for a true hero. We haven't done anything worth deeming us a hero, but just demonstrating our powers are like, wow, that guy's a true hero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for true a three year old, hero. that's impressive. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Is this what robots would do with superpowers? Probably. This is all I could think of. God, can you imagine in a couple of years, they should start making those Boston Dynamics robots play basketball? Oh my God. Oh my God, be... yeah. Robot sports that can make it through the pandemic. Wouldn't that be amazing? That would be amazing, yeah. 
Just watch them play, like, play football, like tackle each other super hard. Holy shit, a robot sports leagues. That'd be amazing. They're constantly like doing amazing shit. It's just yeah. like, it's like the Harlem Globetrotters, except even more amazing. It would be incredible. Because yeah. I've seen AI do stuff with like video games and, and stuff you would never think of. And it's really good at it after like a thousand tries. Uh, I liked Real Steel. Another thing I've heard of, but I've never seen before. Same here. It's like robot boxing, right? Oh, shit. It. Okay. Interesting. Add that to my watch list. I still think in a hundred years, there'll be people that are like, what do you mean you owned robots? Yeah. You're a monster. They have robot football? You join the what? school basketball oh, team. Oh, you yeah. are incredible. Soccer. You quickly become the star player. You win every game by a landslide. You are the best. Oh my god. <clears throat> Isn't it cheating though? So long as you don't get spiders inside you, you're unlockable. Unkillable. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think I've seen the robot soccer. But that, yeah, it's... <laughs> Technology's not quite there yet. It's more funny than it is impressive. Twitch censored inside you? Oh my god. Twitch is so weird. I don't get what they censor and what they don't. Mm. Uh, apparently Twitch censored uh, oh. inside you. And I can always just see the uncensored chat, so I never notice. But that's interesting. Isn't this a little unethical, though? Yeah. You are recruited to a professional basketball team. As a kid, you are the so. youngest player ever to join the NBA. You hide your superpowers and try to blend in. After a few years, you decide to reveal your secret identity. Oh. You tell the rest of the players on the team. No. They all laugh at you. See they more. say, no. we don't care how strong or fast you are. We don't need superpowers anyway. We got you. But you know they mean well. Wow. Oh, I think the the cum the cum webbing out of our dick. I'm thinking this guy's like prepubescent. Okay, he's like seven or eight, so he's uh, not like aware <laughs> how to shoot web out of his dick yet. God, we reveal our superpowers and they laugh at us. But they also support us a little bit. Like, man, we don't care how strong you are. We got it. We're a team. Name is a bit weird. That's right, we still haven't come you up with You torment a name. your teammates that laughed at you with ant yeah. ghosts. Then you send the snakes into the away team's locker room. Yes. When they come back, they look very scared. You play oh. against them again. This time you destroy the entire court with a single shot. Whoa. You beat them so badly, they never make it back to the city. One oh. night, oh. you what wake up alone mean? in your bed. You feel a presence so near you. It feels like a ghostly presence. Oh, here we go. Oh. Probably uh, the ghost of the bully, and yeah, he's like, "Hey, you know, I, I'm kind of learning the error of my ways, but you are going very off the deep end." 
sound like you injured the rival team, yeah. Or embarrassed them so much that they were like, we can't go back home. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah. Let's see you what You ask AI. the ghostly presence, who are you? It answers, my name is Number Zero. Number Zero? Number, <laughs> number Zero. <laughs> it's awesome. Number. That's a pretty good superhero name. Yeah. Number zero. <laughs> Why is it written in slang, uh, though? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it just breaks out like it's like, okay, I'm going to type like a uh, nice and formatted, <laughs> then sometimes it whips out the number zero. <laughs> yeah. Or like sometimes when he uses bad grammar, I think it's just pulling that straight out of some like uh, blog post or something. Number zero. <clears throat> it's setting up a whole team of numbers. Yes. The League of Extraordinary Numbers. <laughs> oh. You say, Number Zero. That sounds like a great superhero name. I'm going to start calling myself that. Now what did you want? Oh nothing, just wondering if you were the same one who made my life a living hell when I first joined the team. Oh. Yeah, me. Why do you ask? Uh -oh. Because I remember you from before. When we played together on your team. We had such similar abilities, we must have been related somehow. Oh. You really are special, aren't you? Whoa! <laughs> That's exactly it, Misha. Uh, I guess the bully had similar powers as us. We didn't even ask. He just couldn't control our ants. He could only control his ants. Face jam. It's a touchdown for three points. <laughs> yep. It's like you've uh, been playing your whole life, Misha. Now that's basketball. Number one, number two, number three. You say, the truth is, I was not special before I ate the piece of slug zombie toad man. I could only control snake and ants and ghosts before, but now I'm a great athlete and a true hero. There you go, yeah. Suddenly you hear a loud noise coming from outside. You look out the window and see a huge truck crashing into the side of the school. Whoa. You run to the door and open it. Inside is a giant green monster with a big mouth and a long tongue. He looks like he wants to devour you alive. Wow. So that's the superhero we are. That's like we're a NBA player, seven yeah. year old, and it's like a coming of age story. <laughs> okay, I got this. Number zero. <laughs> Giant green monster. God, are we going to crush his head like the last one? <laughs> oh, yeah. I own globe trotters. trotters. Never lost a game. Who do they play? The generals? 
the Washington Star, uh, Washington something. Yeah. Did you type something? Oh. Uh, I'm working on it, yeah. Okay. It's a giant green monster. He probably just wants our autograph. The, Glar the Harlem Globetrotter Trotters are like a... Um, it's like professional wrestling. They just do tricks and stuff at a team they hire to lose. But they are impressive. They're good tricks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You dunk a basketball into the green monster's mouth and it explodes. The whole town applauds and the chief of police comes up to you and says, thank you kid, what's your name? <laughs> you yell, number zero, and the whole town chants your name and lifts you onto their shoulders. Number Everyone zero, cheers as you leave zero. and you fly away. Whoa, we fly? <laughs> can, we can fly? Huh. Okay, well, I, I got to follow up to it. I guess maybe we've like aged a little bit. You know, we play like one or two seasons. And our super strength has like uh, improved. Oh, maybe we, yeah, maybe we can fly like the ghosts are carrying us through the sky. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> you don't really fly. It's just a wave of ants, ghosts, and snakes. But because it's dark out, it looks like you are flying. <laughs> Suddenly, you feel a pain in your chest and realize oh. you have eaten an ant. As you walk around town in a daze, you suddenly hear someone call your name. <laughs> It's the principal of the school. He asks, are you okay? You nod and reply, yeah, I'm fine. What's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Can we next? Yeah. I got it. Okay. okay, you got it. One next. Yeah, what is up? <laughs> I'm okay, what's up with you, principal? You better not be evil. He saw us choking on the hand. You continue. The principal then explains that there has been some kind of problem with the school and that he needs to get everyone out right away. He tells you to meet him at the front gate. As you walk to the front gate you oh. notice that there is no guard post. Hmm. You wonder where the hell the principal went. Maybe the principal's like Doc Ock. What team is in Detroit? Uh, the Detroit Pistons. Uh, we used to have a big feud with the Chicago Bulls. I don't know if that's still... I think it was just kind of that team at the time, though. I think that's kind of subsided. Because the Bulls are way better. But at one point, there was a like a very heated feud. And I feel like the Bulls were... Uh, the ones uh, in the right. I feel like the Pistons were kind of uh, being assholes. Is that when there was a giant brawl? It was like a... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a fight. I think that was during, like, Dennis Rodman years. And... Shit, who else was on the bull? At that time. You realize it was a trap. A huge monster crawls out of the guard booth. You fight the monster. Greater oh, than you no. fight the monster, you charge forward and punch the monster in the face. Okay. You hit it Easy. so hard, it goes flying off the ground and falls on its ass. You grab the monster's arm and pull it towards you. It tries to bite you, but you dodge. You rip yes. its head off and toss it aside. What? You kick the monster's legs apart and rip them off. That's not unnecessary. Even, yeah, we're not <laughs> even using any of our original powers. Oh. A school with no guard post? Yeah, what is this, Columbine? 
Man, another. And what a violent way. Again. Can't we just yeah. like take the we're strong enough where we could take the monster to jail or something? Uh, Detroit Lions V Chef. <laughs> the AI must be a fan of Mortal Kombat. Yeah. See more Smellmans in the next Mortal Kombat. Keep your eyes out. He won't use any of his fucking powers and he'll just rip your arms off. Jump up your butt. And he'll be like, I can control ants, sticks, and ghost. <laughs> but I won't. You find the principal in his office and demand that he explain his evil ways. Yeah, why did you lead us he to a monster, so, you asshole? saying that he wanted to prove that he was more powerful than you. Oh. He also said that he needed the money for new shoes. He tells <laughs> you that he will give you $500,000 if you help him kill some other kids. Wow. Oh. Man, that's... Wow. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I got this. That's like a um, that's a reasonable amount of money to <laughs> offer someone, though. <laughs> we gotta know it can't be any of our friends. But if they're yeah, really, like, if, we'll take it. Yeah, yeah. If we're gonna end up killing them anyway, then we might as well take the you money. You say maybe which kids exactly? Greater than you let the principal live. He needs the money for shoes. You agree to let the principal live, live since he needs the money live? for shoes. Yeah. Later, the principal arrives at the school gates and waves you goodbye. You wave him goodbye too. As you're walking home, you feel oh. something strange. Something is wrong. Something isn't right. Okay, I got it. Okay, I forgot to check the, the monster kill. Monster kill. A literal monster kill. That's a... He's evil because he needs new shoes. Also, he needs new shoes, but he has $500,000 to kill some kids at the school. Well, how expensive are these shoes? Yeah. Is he trying to get some like $3 million original Jordans or something? <laughs> okay, so this is a, uh, this might be a good end. It depends where the computer takes it. Okay, I'm excited. Take us home, Jim. Okay. It's a you start of coming story. web out of your dick. You've hit puberty. The world <laughs> is ending. <laughs> oh! <Yeah. laughs> uh, you were the chosen one. You were never supposed to hit puberty. <laughs> Inflation is bad in the story. Oh boy. This is going to be very questionable. <laughs> Perfect ending. Yeah, the world is ending. <laughs> Uh. See ya. Pika, Pika, Pika. Bye, Redler. You destroy the world and have to live with ants, snakes, oh. and the ghosts of everyone on Earth. Your mom cries over you. Your dad dies. You oh. try to kill yourself. Oh, you die. God. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. So he killed everyone. Uh, how many people are on Earth? Population. Seven of billion. Earth. Seven point eight billion. Seven point. It's almost eight. Wow. Okay. I remember when it was six. Monster kill, kill, kill. Oh, plus one. That's for us. Kill. You control yourself while you're a ghost. <laughs> That'd work. <laughs> yeah, wait, that maybe a fair.
definitely the end of our basketball career. I would be the repeat like that. You take control of yourself as a ghost and for the first time you feel like you have control over yourself. You become strong and kill all of the spirits of those who died while you were still alive. What? You decide to become a ghost again. You can control yourself while a ghost. Ghost basketball. Alright, we're in a ghost loop, I feel like. I think that's a good place to end it though. You hit puberty and the world ends. Uh, well, thanks for joining us, everybody. See you tomorrow at 8. Bye. See ya. Uh, tell your step dads, tell your step ghosts, tell your step guys who can control <laughs> ants, <laughs> snakes, and ghosts. And follow. Let's get some more followers. Good night, everybody.